Both conditions are fairly. Alright. Back up, back up. Let's get ready to get off. Alright, Bill. That looks like. Hey, can you take that off? Yeah, let's uh. Let's make this hole as big as we can, Paul. Alright, man, take your chest in there, me and breath. Alright, bro, let's start working our way back. Take a four. Alright, let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna take this being off too. Go ahead. Let's get a cut. So the call came in as a structure fire. I'll tell you when it was the first one on scene, and um, there was heavy smoke visible. Uh, started directing units as it came in. When we got here, we parked off a little bit. We went around. There was heavy fire in the rear. Um, it started to come through the roof. The older buildings like this are balloon frame. So if it gets in somewhere low, first thing we're going to do is going to strike the attic. That's how you see in the old houses, the lines are stacked. The windows are stacked in line. That means that it's a chase. That those two by fours run from the attic, from the floor to the attic. So. If it starts from the first floor, the next place it's going to be burned is the attic. It was in the back, heavy fire in the back, so it looks like it might have started in the kitchen. Um, but I don't know, but they've, been, they've requested the uh, uh, investigator to come out. He's going to chase it back. When we, when we first got on scene, we were uh, helping family members out. There's uh, probably like eight family members that are standing right back here, helping the elderly down the stairs and got them out of the way as we were going in. So they requested EMS, so I haven't been out. I've been inside the whole time. So. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.